Hey, here's another safety tip from Vivid Learning Systems. My name is Chris, and I'm here to share some knowledge and help you connect workers with safety. Bloodborne pathogens are viruses and bacteria found in the human body and body fluids. They can cause diseases, most notably HIV and hepatitis B virus. Here are some steps to help against contamination and exposure to bloodborne pathogens. Treat all fluids as infectious. The first rule in handling human blood and body fluids is to always handle these materials like they are infectious, even if you believe the fluid is disease free. Use personal protective equipment. PPE is extremely important in preventing contact with blood. Forms of PPE that decrease the likelihood of coming in contact with blood and other body fluids are gloves, gowns, and face protection. Latex gloves and vinyl aprons protect your skin from coming in contact with infectious fluids. Face protection, such as face shields and eye goggles, prevent blood from entering mucous membranes via the eye, nose, or mouth. Protect yourself first. When administering first aid, protect yourself first before treating the victim. Immediately put on the proper PPE for the situation. Clean up the right way. When cleaning up broken glass that has been exposed to blood or body fluids, never use your hands, even if you are wearing gloves. Get rid of contaminated broken glass with tongs or by sweeping into a dustpan. If you get blood or body fluid on your clothing, carefully turn the garment inside out as you remove it to prevent spreading the contaminants. After removing personal protective equipment and dirty clothing, wash all affected body parts to remove potentially infectious contamination. Use safe disposal practices. Get rid of materials that have come in contact with blood and body fluids. Handle all trash as if it contains sharp or infectious items. Place all potentially infectious materials and contaminated items in labeled, sealed containers. Make sure containers are color-coded or marked with a biohazard label. Until next time, stay positive and stay safe.